and Dyke House of Grand Rapids, where we're heard on WTKG, was the winner. He beat 517 people. Wow. And the prize pool was greater than $500,000. How much money uh, did you win by becoming the champion, Ryan? Uh, yeah, I was able to win uh, $124,500. Wow. $124,000 for being the state champion. And second place was a guy from Warren at $70,000. What's your secret? Because obviously, uh, I mean, to be the state champion, and first of all, how old are you? Uh, I'm 29 years old. Congratulations. Uh, what's Thank the you. secret to playing good poker? Uh, you just got to be patient. Pick your right spots and uh, hope to get it in with the best and get a, get a little lucky, too. How did you learn to play this well? Uh, I started playing when I was back in college. Um, I graduated from Hope College, and uh, a few of my buddies back then always liked to play just some games around the house or just just whatever, and uh, I guess I kind of picked it up from there. Wow. Tournament poker is a lot different than, than, than playing poker when you walk into Fire Keepers on an average day, though, isn't it, or is it? Um, yeah, there, there's a there's a quite a bit of a difference between cash games and tournaments. Um, just tournaments being so long and grueling, you got to be really patient. Mm. Um you just can't get up and leave like you can in a normal cash game. So. so does this qualify you to go play in other tournaments, like since you've won Michigan? Uh, no, this was um, their main event. So that's all that they had there. They don't really have a, a comprehensive tournament to follow after. Do you play professionally now for a living? No, I don't. I actually work full-time, and uh, on the weekends I play poker and just kind of good for you. a little bit of a, yeah, just a side <laughs> hobby. Oh, do you keep track of your winnings through the year? Oh uh, yes, most definitely. Well, how much have you won this year, other than the hundred and twenty-four thousand five hundred for winning the Firekeepers event? Well, tournament tournament-wise, I was uh, in po uh, in Vegas this past summer, and I was able to take down a smaller tournament there for thirty-five thousand. And then uh, on the weekends, I just play cash games, so just uh, just enough to keep going there. Wow, how do you like Firekeepers Poker Room? It's really nice. Um, their whole, their whole casino, poker room, their hotel, everything is top notch. I mean, they they did a really good job with it for sure. Wow. Well, you did a heck of a job to be the state champion now in poker. One hundred and twenty-four thousand five hundred dollars. What are you going to do with all that money? You know, I'm going to invest some of it, save some of it, and then just continue to play poker with the rest of it, and just kind of, you know, nothing really special. I don't have any plans to buy anything crazy hey. or anything like that. So. Yeah. Turn it into something, right? Hmm. Yeah, I have a, I have a, I was, I'm recently married, so and we have a little one, so. It's oh nice wow! To, Excellent to timing. Thank yes. You. Yeah. And that's a, I, in fact, I'm surprised you were even able to go play in the tournament. <laughs> now that I hear that. Yeah, I have a, a very flexible wife. <laughs> Well, <laughs> glad to hear that, too. Ryan Dykehouse, congratulations from Grand Rapids, Michigan. He is the state champion of Firekeepers, and uh, he won the poker event there.